Hey guys, my name is Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace uh, a stripped lug bolt in the car. Um, I was I was painting the calipers on my car and I stripped one of the, the lug bolts. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process of replacing the, the lug bolt. Alright, so this is the stud that we're going to be removing. Um, you see this is a good one, it has all of its threads. Here, I don't know if you can pick up, but there are some threads missing, and I just want to replace it before it, it ends up snapping or giving me more issues. So, um, I've already ordered a replacement stud, as well as um, some new lug nuts for that. Um, this actually happened when I was getting ready to paint my calipers, so I'm just I'm going to be disassembling the whole caliper. Um, this is a 14 millimeter for the the guide pins holding the caliper onto the car um this is a 15 millimeter so you have one and two which are both 14s this is a 15 and this one down here is also a 15. so i'm going to be removing the caliper setting it off to the side because i'm going to be painting it but you would need to get the caliper off anyways because the brake disc is going to have to come off in order to get this um stud out so i'm going to go ahead and take the brake caliper off now Okay, so uh, I have the caliper set aside. Now to take off the, the disc, uh, it's a Torque 30. I already um, cracked it loose, so now it's just pretty easy to remove. Once you remove this little um, bolt that's holding the, the caliper on, you can just lift it away from the, the studs and then you'll be able to, um, to have better access. So there's the T30 out. So now with the brake disc off, uh, I'm gonna try to hit this stud out. I'll be able to knock it loose, but I don't think I'll be able to remove it from what I remember the last time I did this. Um, you need this dust shield to move, and in order to do that, you have to release the hub from this side. So it's one, two, three, these bolts. But first, I'm just gonna knock it loose, just see if maybe last time I missed something. If there is maybe a, a slot, you can get it out. If not, then I'll loosen up the hub and um, work it out. All right, so I was able to knock loose the stud that I need to, needed to, but there were, there's no clearance to get it out anywhere along the, you know, at, at any point, just spinning it. So I am gonna have to loosen those three bolts. They're 15 millimeter that hold on the, the hub and one, that removed I should be able to remove this stud and um, then I can install the, the new one. Alright so after removing those three bolts from the back, um, last time I did this the, the hub just came out easy, this time it wasn't I was just trying to move around the, the dust shield, you see this isn't the original place. And um, as I kept moving it around it got a little looser and then it finally did come off. Now with it off, I'm able to, um, to to move the dust shield and get it out. It's hard to do with the camera and the hub in my hand, but that's what I'm gonna do now. Then it's just a matter of putting the new bolt in and then putting the hub back in place. So I'll get back to you once I have removed it and put the new lug bolt in. Okay, so I have the, the new lug bolt. You can see here it has a, a flat side, so you have to be sure. <laughs> All right, All right. so um, we have the, the new lug bolt now. You can see. Okay, so we have the new. <laughs> I haven't laughed with my shit at all. Stop okay, it. no. Can you, can you Okay, so we have the, the new lug bolt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so we got the... <laughs> oh. Okay, so I have the new lug bolts in now. As you can see, there's a, a flat side. So that's going to have to be like on... The flat side goes towards the hub. So what I'm going to have to um, do is... Right now, I only have one of the hub bolts holding the, the hub in right now. Um, when I have both hands free, I'm going to remove that hub bolt, which will let the hub come out, which will let me slide in this, um, the new lug bolt. 
Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I could still adjust it in there. Um, but just before I start tightening and bringing it in and getting the, the splines in there, I have to make sure it's in the, the correct position. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll check back to you. I'll check, I'll come back once, um, once the bolt is in, but not necessarily seated. Alright, so as you can see, the, the lug bolt is in place. It's still um, movable. See, I can spin it around. So we just gotta make that that flat side is in the right position. And then um, we'll get a bunch of washers or a, a spacer of some kind, and then a lug nut, and then we pull it so it, the, the spline seats into place. Also, I have to um, tighten the, the lug bolts on the back. I know it's pretty dark. There you go. You can see one right here. Um, those go to 85 foot-pounds of torque. So what I'll do for um, clearance is I'll turn the, my steering wheel so I'll have um, better access to those um, lug bolts, seat the, the new, sorry, the hub bolt, then seat the lug bolt, and um, then it's just a matter of putting the caliper on and then uh, reassembling the, the brake caliper and putting that on and then we're done. Okay, so I was able to um, seat the, the lug bolts. I used an open-ended um, lug nut. I used the flat side, put it on, and I used my torque wrench, torque um, impact driver, and um, gave it a few ugga duggas and it, <coughs> it's seat, it's, it is seated now. Um, all I had to do now is put the, the brake disc back on with that, um, there you go with the little bolt to secure it it actually secures right there in that hole okay so now the the brake disc is on I just have to put the, the caliper holder on it goes right here and right there with these two um, bolts and I have to torque that down to 85 foot-pound of torque and then we can put the other part of the caliper on All right, so now the caliper holder is on. Now we just need to get the caliper on. Um, that's with these bolts going into the, the guide pins right here. Got to torque these down to um, 25 pounds. And of course you have to put in the, the brake pads and hardware for that stuff as well. Then um, it will be all assembled. It's just a matter of putting the wheel back on. All right, so I put the rest of the caliper on, torqued it down. Um, only thing left to do now is put the wheel on and lower it. So we are done. The I can't even tell which one it is right now, but the lug bolt, it, the stud, the wheel stud is replaced. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions on um, the process, be sure to leave a comment. If it helped you out or you just enjoyed watching it, be sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Bye guys.